Hello you beautiful souls, welcome here. I'm very happy to see you here on my channel. Um, today we've got his feelings reading for you. And before that I wanted to share um, something with you, some like some tip, I guess, health tip. And I think all of us here are women. Um, at least according to my YouTube analytics, 98% of us are women. But if those 2% of men are here by some miracle, could you please skip the introduction and go forward in this video, like a minute or so? Uh, because I'm going to talk about some f feminine things. <laughs> um, so, yes, if you ever had a painful period of menstruation, I have a solution for you. Um, it's so easy and so natural, and only if I knew that it's so helpful and I don't have to take painkillers ever again for two days during the month. I would be so happy if someone could share this with me. So this is why I'm telling you. Uh, raspberry leaf tea. It's incredible. It's completely natural. And um, But you have to buy like a loose leaf tea, not the ones that is like in bags. Because the loose one is better. So you can drink it every single day or every other day. I drink it every day because it tastes nice, a bit like green tea, uh, but less strong. And it has lots of vitamin C and uh, it's helping with helping your immune system and your blood circulation, helps your womb and ovaries and that's why um, you don't get like ovulation pains or um, the pain during the first two days of your menstruation um, because we all know these are the the, the worst days of hell <laughs> sometimes they used to be for me but now i can't even tell when my periods are coming and uh, by the way it makes you very very regular so it somehow adjusts your cycle so well so good for you um yeah and um, if you try it i hope it helps you because it really helped me and a few other girls i know so yes um back to the reading I've got three piles of cards for you. I will insert the picture in a moment. Please take your time. Listen to intuition. You can say the name of your person out loud or in your mind to connect to them. And then choose a pile that resonates with you the most. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Hi everyone who chose pile number one or Rose Quartz Heart. And let's see how is your person feeling about you right now. Mm -hmm. We are opening the reading with Seven of Wands, Cheerfulness, Six of Pentacles, Scholar, Ten of Cups, and Reunion. Mm -hmm. You guys change this person so much. You can't even imagine the influence you had on them. This is incredible. Internally and externally on their life. Because I see them trying to protect themselves initially in this connection. Trying to... Um, almost like they're not letting themselves feel, feel the happiness. Maybe the anxiety and the defensive feelings and with the Seven of Wands, they're trying to protect themselves, trying to protect their views, um, the way they view relationships, the way they view themselves, maybe they had some uh, very strict values and yeah, they were standing their ground, they were protecting something. And I'm seeing that this is someone who's not... This person... It could be that they were protecting their happiness, protecting their heart, protecting their soul, the things that they hold dear to them, and they couldn't really open up to you, they couldn't let you in. I see you kind of pushing it, pushing, trying to get to know them, trying to understand them, trying, trying to make them open up, and they are building this wall even higher, trying to protect something, trying themselves, trying to protect their life. trying to hold on to something very rigid, 
to the foundations they be built for themselves. Um, they were not too flexible with you in the beginning. That's what I'm feeling from this person. I see you trying to show them other points of view, um, solutions to something. I see you trying to show them other ideas, um, other ways of doing things. And they're like, no, I'm good. I know what I'm doing. Don't, um, I'm going to keep on doing the things I, I've always done. It almost feels like this person is not, they were not letting themselves feel too much in this connection initially. Maybe they didn't want to put their hopes too high so they wouldn't crumble too soon. I see them as someone being scared of opening up their heart and feeling again, letting themselves feel love, feel joy, feel happiness, cheerfulness. It almost feels as though this is someone oh someone who's saying, Oh, I know how this kind of things end. They have some very or they used to have some very, very rigid ideas in their mind or prejudices or um, that they used to protect with you or from you. I feel like you were trying to warm them up as well. You were trying to show them the beauty of life, the things you can enjoy, the um, love and care and um, gentleness of yours. You were trying to show it to them so they could reciprocate or maybe just receive it. I don't see them even receiving it too well. Yeah, very self-protective, this person initially with you but now what's happening here six of pentacles at scholar oh you are changing them you're like this benefactor what's the word you're like this very noble figure in your life that's pouring your love to them that's helping them with life probably that's helping them you're giving them advice or maybe you are you're just someone very wise and you have lots of experience and you you just know how to make people trust you and you are very generous and you are you can love unconditionally with the six of pentacles you can give unconditionally you never hold back nothing is too dear for you to give to someone that you you see potential with I see you giving so much to this person. I see you being very generous with your words, with your love, with your affection, and um, even support in life, whatever it is. And I see that you taught this person how important it is to be this generous, how, be, how important it is to be open and to give without any expectation, just because you want to, not because you expect something in return. That's what this person was afraid of in the beginning. Afraid of, afraid to receive, afraid to give. Um, very self-guarded. Um, but you are teaching them. You taught them a lot. Now they're like, I feel like they're even their thinking patterns are changing by your side. Because you show them by example how to love, how to how to share, how to share your life, how to share your everyday experiences. You are someone so generous, very generous, very open. And, uh, but at the same time, you have this discernment when you know who is worth giving your all to. You have this uh, wise um, aspect, wise part in you, part of you that's Kind of, it could be your intuition, it could be your intuition. Your heart knows that this person is worth giving to and working with and being patient with. And I see them learning from you. Like every time they see you being so loving and kind and supportive, they're like, okay, this is something I need to work on as well to make sure that you stay in their life. Even 
if it feels very hopeless at the moment, don't despair because this person is currently in the process of relearning some old um, ways of thinking of becoming more like you. I'm seeing here. Changing their ways, definitely. And uh, yeah, Ten of Cups and Reunion. They are also very excited for the future. Also, you make them really happy. They see this picture of family with you, of happily ever after. Um, if you are in a separation at the moment or if the communication is not going too well, they definitely want a reunion. This person wants to make it happen. They want to make it work. And uh, you fulfill them emotionally completely. They feel so happy with you, so joyful, and uh, you are someone who made them start thinking about uh, family as something they could want. And uh, yeah, this is their dream. Beautiful, cozy home, family, at least long-term relationship with you, because yeah, you are the one, I feel like, they want to say here. And you taught them a lot, and they are very, very grateful, this person. And they definitely want to see you again if you haven't seen each other for a long time, or maybe there were some restrictions or circumstances, they want to see you, feel you again, feel your energy, uh, feel your love. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the oracle cards. Let's look what we have here. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is what I was talking about. You change this person. Even the oracle cards are saying exactly the same thing. They have unfolded their heart with this lotus flower unfolding, unfoldment. They've unfolded their heart. They opened up to you. It took some time. It took some courage on their part. But you made it happen. And now I feel like their heart belongs to you absolutely. It's someone, this person is someone who's really difficult. It's very difficult to make them trust you. Because I see them being kind of rigid, kind of um, anxious even about opening up to people. But you are someone, they just, um, there's a lot of gratitude here and a lot of spiritual um, development that happened in them. And you made them come out of their comfort zone. You made them come out of the routine that they used to be in. You showed them something new, definitely, with this North Node. You showed them their path. You showed them what they, they are worth of. You showed them that what they can do in life, who they can be with. I feel like this is very new for them. This Not that it's a new relationship. They've never been with someone like you before, in this sense. This is very unfamiliar, but they like it, they love it. This person finally got to see the value of it, see your generosity, your beautiful heart, and um, they, I, they did step out of their comfort zone for you. Or they're about to do this, for sure, if they didn't yet. We've got this beautiful card, Love Begins, and uh, yeah, I see this as them finally showing emotions finally open up about their feelings, finally being verbal, finally being affectionate, romantic, and um, showing you how much you mean to them. Because before that, we used to have fear. Um, yes, there's a lot of fear in this spread, with the Seven of Wands, with the scholar. There was a lot of fear that they're going to burn again, that they're going to get burnt again with you, like they did in the past, probably. So they were scared. But now I see them becoming more brave, becoming trust. Trust is there, finally. And we've got this beautiful message, love. It says, you are the one. Mm -hmm. Finally re realize that you are the perfect ten, ten of cups, ultimate happiness. This is what you represent to this person. You are the one to them. Let's get a few more messages from them. What would they say to you, Pile One? What would this person say to you? How is he feeling right now? Yeah, 
yeah, I feel like this is a past energy that was uh, lingering for some time in this connection. This message, we need to let each other go. It could be that this person used to say this to you or show you somehow mm, that this is not gonna this is not gonna work, you are too different, or maybe this person knows people like you because they've had some hurt in the past, they were um, wronged by someone. What else do we have here? Yeah, I lost myself for a while. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Let's get a bit more. How is this person feeling about you, Pile One? turn loose heaven within me. I cannot handle any more heartbreak. Yes, I feel this very strongly for your person here. There's someone maybe who had a lot happen to them in life, in relationships, in um, maybe their family was not very um, positive. Their background is difficult emotionally, very intense. That's why they're very guarded, or they used to be very guarded, because I feel like they're changing with you. Mm -hmm. Don't think I don't care about you because I really do. They do, because you are the one. They do. With the Ten of Cups here. So this is all I had for you, Pile One. I hope this was helpful. I hope it gave you some clarity in your situation, and I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others, and I will see you in my next videos. Bye bye. Hi everyone who chose pile number two or um, this aventurine elephant. Let's see how is your person feeling about you right now. And we are opening the reading with beautiful star. <clears throat> so what's this? Knight of Wands. Enemy, the world, and thief. Mm hmm. File two. This is interesting because they have some really big feelings for you. They see you as someone unreal, someone so magical, so interesting, so exciting, so unusual, unique. Someone they always dreamt of meeting, of being with, experiencing someone like that. You are a big dream for this person. But there is some fear. There is some fear in them that this is all... This, this is all... How do I put it into words? It's all in their mind or it's all the... It's an illusion, because we've got this energy of star and falseness. Yes, they admire you, they find you incredible, they find you like one in a million. Um, I feel like they've been admiring, from you, uh, admiring you from afar for some time before starting this relationship. Or it could be that there were circumstances that were kind of separating you, or maybe it was distance. Um, difference in age, in status, anything like that. But you are definitely someone their soul is very drawn to. They feel like you understand them. They feel like you are... <laughs> this is always an energy of unconditional love for me. The star, whenever I get it, pull this card, I feel like, okay, this is it. This person recognizes um, you as their soulmate or maybe twin flame. No, no, I don't think Twin Flame, rather soulmate, but definitely someone that's so, so, so special to them. But there is a lot of energy of fear here, of being lied to, of not seeing things clearly. Maybe this person doesn't really believe that you, 
really are someone they think you are. Maybe you are displaying something to them that, that's not quite, it's not completely true. Or maybe there is difference between you and they're thinking, well, while there is di not difference, uh, distance, while there is distance, I, um, I see this person this way, I admire them, but when, when we get closer, I might get a complete, uh, completely different thing. Could be online dating as well, or something here is very suspicious to this person. I don't know why you should know better, but feelings are there, definitely. Passion is there. Um, love is there. They do love you. You're someone very special to them. You're not just like another date or another potential uh, person for relationship. You are exactly what they want. You make them feel so much, so many emotions, uh, you ignite their soul and uh, you are a dream come true for them with a star. Something so desirable but so unreachable at the same time. And I feel like this person is really scared of this dream falling apart. This dream not um, n not having the potential to to be in reality, to to stand the test of practicalities or maybe living together. There is some doubt in this person's mind, although in their heart they know you are the one, they know you are incredible and they can't stop thinking about you, dreaming about you, their heart is yearning for you, they miss you definitely. There is so much passion as well, with this knight of wands and enemy. Almost like um, the fine line between love and hate. With the knight of wands and enemy. Uh, you trigger them. I feel like you trigger them on some level that makes them angry, but makes them so aroused at the same time. I can't even explain this, this combination to me. This energy is like you you have you know the just the right buttons to push in them that would make them uh very excited about being with you about uh, makes them very passionate about you very sexually attracted to you the knight of wands is someone who's who can't um, restrain themselves it's a very fast energy very fiery and um, this person really wants you they do want you but It almost feels as there are some circumstances that are, try that are telling them to stay away from you. But that exactly, but that um, thing exactly makes them want to be with you even more. I hope I make sense. Could be that you are taken. Could be that you are, that you used to be like the worst enemies. Or maybe there's just this energy that's very present, the, 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 forbid, the energy of this union, this passion being forbidden, but they want it even more so because of the, the, the circumstances. Yeah, fine line between love and hate. For some reason I keep getting this line, keep hearing this line in my head. You ignite their soul, you make them so happy, so passionate, so excited. Um, yeah, I feel like they've never felt so much passion for anyone else as they do for you. I feel like they completely lose their mind when they start thinking about you, especially in a more like passionate way. And they're definitely longing for you at the moment, they're longing for your energy, for your warmth for this excitement, this rush that you bring into their life. The way you make them feel is just something so special. Nobody can do it for them, the way you do it. And I feel like there is, they're scared of you. This person is scared of you. There is fear that you have too much power over them. With this falseness, with this enemy and thief, they feel like you can snap your fingers and they are completely, they are in your, 
they are on their knees, uh, like asking for your um, benevolence. This person is scared of the fact that you have too much power over them. Maybe they used to be very in control, very settled in their life, not letting other people dictate uh, what it is that they should be doing, and um, they used to have very balanced relationships. But in this, one, in this one, I feel like they praise you so much with the star energy. They love everything about you, the smallest things, the way you look, your eyes, your hair, your smile your voice, the things you say, the way you think, it's so, so precious to them, so, so important. But the way they lose their head when they're with you, they become so unbridled, so reckless with you. And that's something that makes them feel like uh, you have too much power over them and this is unacceptable. They need to do something about it. They're scared. This is fear. This is fear, definitely. But what do they really want here is harmony, is peace. They want to have peace in their soul with this world energy and this thief. It could be that they're avoiding you at times or maybe trying to stay superficial, not opening up to you as much as they used to, trying to stay kind of reserved, like happy-go-lucky with this world energy. Um, trying to stay positive all the time. I see that they just they're craving for some peace in themselves. They're craving for harmony and for for things to be harmonious with you here. Maybe for this passion to settle. Maybe for them to have some uh, the mind that is more clear. And that's why I think they could be avoiding you or like not texting you as much as they did, or just know if they're retracing a little bit, it's just because they need to find their inner peace. They need to find the stability, this freedom and harmony in themselves. But you are someone who has a very serious grip on their heart, on their soul. Um, you're someone very, very important for this person. Let's look at the Oracle cards. Wow. This is interesting. Again, I'm seeing the distance between the two of you guys. If you are not in a long distance relationship or if there are no circumstances that are kind of separating you physically or emotionally, then this is not your reading because looking at all of the cards, something here is intervening, could be third parties, could be distance. We've got this energy of new moon and promise. What I'm seeing here is that this person could have promised you that they're going to make it work, that they're going to be a new beginning here with you, that they're going to come back to you or maybe to make it right, to, to change the situation if they're with someone. Um, if they're married or they have someone else. could be that they have been promising you that they will fix this and they will be yours solely. And you've been waiting with this, the waiting game and patience. I feel like you've been waiting because they gave you some promise here. Could be promise of a stable future or reunion or um, yeah, more stable connection here. And I see you kind of waiting for them, working, walking in, in circles and um, giving this more and more time and, uh, yeah, letting it flow. But I feel like the conclusion is very close. It's in the, in the, it's in the reach. We've got this energy of Gibbous Moon. Uh, you're very close to achieving your goal. I feel like this was a test for, for the both of you. Whatever has, has been happening, it was like a test. You both had to go through this to test your commitment to each other. And achieving this goal in the form of this relationship is going to happen very soon f for you too. Because we have this uh, 
the last card, the world, it's like the, the end of a cycle. Something new is about, is about to start. And uh, yeah, I see pain. I see pain that you've, you both have been experiencing in regards to the circumstances, in regards to things that you had to endure with each other, with this energy of sorrow. Could be that they can't do anything to help the situation, this person. It's too difficult, uh, they, they can't change the circumstances. Or maybe it's you that could be... This is general reading, it could be sideways, could be you, could be them. But there is some sort of regret and sadness because the things are not working out the way you want them to. Or this person wants them to. And we've got this message, speechless. I can't find the right words. Yeah. Could be that you are not in a communication at the moment, or it's just difficult to express your feelings to each other. Difficult to make it right, difficult to apologize and to apologize and um, yeah, I feel like this person doesn't even know what they could say that could help the situation to justify things. Let's get a few more messages from them. How are they feeling about you, pile two? How is this person feeling about you? starting to understand our connection yeah they see the beautiful spiritual energy that you brought you brought into their life with this energy of star you are someone so special for them you showed them other ways other ways i bury my i bury myself in work to forget you it's a, it is a very intense connection for this person definitely <laughs> i love you yeah they do. They really do. Let's get a few more messages. How are they feeling about you, pile two? How is this person feeling about you? You are a diamond of immense strength and beauty mm -hmm. you absolutely are i am battling my demons right now yeah it could be this passion for you it could be this irresistible pull that they're battling and feeling for some reason they feel like it's uh, it's not the right time maybe or it's inappropriate there is a very strong pull <laughs> very strong pull and the message is I feel you so strongly, I can taste your essence. Yep. Okay, this is all I had for you, pal, too. I hope it was helpful to you. I hope it gave you at least a bit of clarity. And um, I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye bye. Hi everyone, who chose pile number 3 or Amethyst Heart? Let's see how is your person feeling about you right now. And we are opening the reading with the Chariot, Malady, the Lovers, Room, Six of Wands and Gift. Mm, pile 3. Um, you brought this person out of a coma, emotional coma, or some pain, or uh, self-doubt, or something that they were very uh, trapped in, some cycle in their life where they couldn't be in the leading role. They couldn't take the reins of their life in their hands and change it. But as soon as you came, they felt so empowered, they felt like they can break through, to freedom and they can change their life, they can take control of their life into their hands. With this chariot energy, it's very 
uh, very determined, very focused energy, very achievement oriented. This is someone who's who went for it. I feel like you almost saved them for something with this from something with this melody and chariot. You brought them out uh, out of a coma. Again, it could be like a stable life they used to lead, or maybe loneliness, or maybe some kind of routine, or maybe even some sort of suffering, maybe toxic relationship, something like that. But as soon as you came, they felt like a rush of confidence, a rush of excitement. They wanted to, to be a leader in this relationship, I feel like. They didn't even follow here. You were just a catalyst for them to to find this inner strength in, in themselves, to change their life, to to realize their dreams, to realize where they want to go in life, who they want to be with, how they want to act. And they did everything. Um, they made this breakthrough to new life with you. You were a huge influence on them. You kind of took them out of something very painful, like a painful long cycle that you took them out of and showed them the possibilities, showed them that they are strong, showed them that, that they can move mountains, really, with this chariot energy. It's very, very empowering energy and major arcana. You are someone very significant for them. We have two major arcanas for their feelings, the chariot and the lovers. Yeah, they made a conscious choice to change their life because you influenced their internal state here very much. And uh, they have very strong feelings for you with the, with the lovers. They feel like you are the uh, seduction on one hand. You are someone very seductive to them and uh, someone that's that's very tempting, that's tem tempting them all the time, but at the same time you are also their safety on many levels. With this room energy and lovers, I feel like you embody their temptation, their seduction and their safety, their peace and security in life. You are both for them, that's why you have such a strong influence on, their, on themselves, on them and uh, the way they live their life. I feel like you created this beautiful atmosphere for them. Mm, you kind of overwhelmed them, um, surrounded them with this feeling of safety in love, feeling of protection, feeling of um, comfort, comfort in love. Maybe before that they were kind of scared of loving or were not comfortable with making huge decisions in relationships. Um, changing their life for someone is definitely not what they used to do. They were too happy about. I think they were struggling with their own life to begin with in the past. But now with you, everything is just so easy. Everything is so excited, exciting and so um, it's safe to make decisions with you by their side. It's safe to love you. It's safe to... It feels like home. This love feels like home. Mm -hmm. And that is why they're so empowered to, to be active, to be the leader in this relationship, in this connection. Mm -hmm. It almost feels like their emotions and their uh, heart, um, their emotions and their mind and their thoughts came into balance when you appeared. Everything became so stable and clear and obvious and uh, there was no more battle in their feelings and thoughts and logic. Everything came together when you entered their life. And you made their life so comfortable, so easy, so, uh, so safe. I feel like they feel very safe uh, in love with you. I could could you say that? Could, yeah, I think it works. Safe in love, safe in love. 
And uh, yeah, I feel like you raise their esteem so much. The way they feel with you, like they are on the top of the world, um, they are, they can conquer the world, they can achieve anything with the six of wands and this gift. And I feel like they do realize that you are a gift in their life, that you uh, make them feel so empowered, that you see their good nature, that you see how strong they are, they see how many talents they have, they see, you see how um, how much they can achieve. And that's how they started believing in, the, in themselves too, this person. In your eyes, they are, they see who they want to be. This reflection in your eyes is exactly how they want to be, what they want to show the world. I feel like you, you are incredible positive influence on this person's life and they uh, consciously understand that and they're very grateful for you, this person. They feel like you are this precious gift that they received and they don't even have, know how they deserved you. Because not only you make them feel very passionate and very loving, they feel so good about themselves. Finally, after I see so many years and um, after the cycle of maybe self-doubt, anxiety, they feel very good about themselves, this person. Yeah, I feel like you are their backbone. You are their support here. You inspire them for more achievement, more success and... Uh, they're very proud to have you as well. I feel like they're very, sh they're showing off as well. Um, they're telling their friends about you and um, yeah, people know about you. I feel like they talk about you, saying how beautiful you are, how precious you are and how you make them feel, how you change their life, how you save them almost, how you save them. Let's look at your Oracle card spell three. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, we got this card Winter Solstice and Reflection. Yeah, could be that you met in winter or maybe they were going through a very difficult, exhausting period in their life, very cold when their heart was cold and they didn't really believe in love, didn't believe in themselves. And then you appeared and you made them sort of um, reflect on their life and on where they got themselves with this thinking and this uh, approach to relationships. Yeah, there is a lot of self-reflection and um, you made them look at themselves honestly. And uh, yeah, I feel like you changed them. You kind of taught them. You, you melted their heart. You brought the summer, this beautiful summer. summer to them. Also we've got full moon in Aquarius and it says show the world the real you. And this is exactly what they are doing right now because as long as you accept them, as long as you love them, as long as you encourage them, they know that they can, they know that they're worthy and they can, they're not afraid to show um, the real them to the world, to the people around them. They feel very empowered with you by their side this person. Maybe someone used to uh, be very critical to them and someone put them down somehow continuously and that's why they were not, they were very self-conscious, this person, before meeting you. Also we've got this positive movement forward and uh, yeah, again very similar to the Six of Wands energy of taking a leap of faith, making their life better. Maybe you're both moving somewhere or maybe you're getting to another level of commitment, moving in together, maybe moving to another city, another country, um, traveling together. There's a lot of positivity in this region, a lot of positive energy, a lot of hope, a lot of potential as well. A lot of potential. It's so important when another person is making you feel good about yourself in the relationship, unless you're not someone who's um, going to put them down in return, because some people are like that. As long as this is reciprocal and uh, there's gratitude, then this is just amazing. It's a very strong, 
basis for, for love, for, for strong love and strong commitment. I do see you um, changing your life for each other and together. Making it be better, making it more abundant, uh, rich in experiences, in love, in uh, traveling and also there is this energy of enjoying nature together, maybe you like hiking, maybe you like swimming in the ocean or walking in the parks and you like to explore things, you are very outdoorsy and adventurous and uh, yeah, you have this beautiful um, love to nature that you both share. And this connection makes you both feel very uh, abundant in love, in, um, in a material well, way as well, in success, in um, happiness. Happiness, yeah. And also we've got this card, this is very interesting because... Um, yeah, it could be that you went through a fight or maybe some disagreement or separation because we've got this card, denial. And it says, I keep telling myself it's not over. If you are struggling at the moment, I definitely see this person not being able to let you go, not being able to forget you. You are someone very important for them. And they definitely don't want this to be over. Definitely not. Um, let's get a few more messages from them, Pyothri. What would they say to you, this person? What would they say to you? every detail of that day could be some memorable day that you changed their life for the good that they still holding on to memories of I left when I saw you with someone else interesting there could be jealousy as well like they feel that you should deserve you should belong to them no nobody else there could be jealousy here we will be together again Again, indication that maybe now is not the best time in this connection, but things will get better. Things will get better. Let's get a few more. How is this person feeling about you right now? Mm -hmm. One just flew out. I'm going to read it to you later. How is this person feeling about me? You are my treasure. Very similar energy to this gift card. Mm. You are definitely someone very, very valuable to this person. Very valuable in their life. You feel like a warm home to me. What was I saying? You feel like this love feels like home for them. Definitely. I know you are my other half. Yeah. So this is all I had for you, Pile 3. I hope uh, it helped you. I hope it gave you at least a little bit of clarity. And um, I wish you lots of love and lots of happiness. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye-bye.